production possibility curve is a useful tool used to illustrate the economic problem of scarcity and the choices that we as a society must make. Let's look at a hypothetical choice between, say, the production of food and the production of guns. On the vertical axis, we measure the production of food, and on the horizontal axis, the production of guns. If we use all of our resources in the production of food, we as a society will be able to produce a quantity, 0A, and this is indicated as point A. And we'll assume that this quantity is about 600 tonnes of food. Now note that at this point we're producing no guns at all. But if we use all our resources for the production of guns, we're able to produce a quantity of 0B, and this is indicated as point B. Let's assume this is equal to, say, 6 million guns. Once again, note that at this point, the production of food is zero, because we'll be using all of our resources producing guns. We can, however, devote some of our resources to the production of food and some to the production of guns. This might put us at point C. At this point, the production of food is, we'll say, 550 tonnes, and the number of guns produced is, say, 2 million. Now, at this point, the production of food is 350 tonnes, and the production of guns is 4 million. And, as point E indicates, it's also possible for us to produce a combination of 250 tonnes of food and 5 million guns. Well, there are many possible combinations, and if we draw a line through them, we get to our production possibility curve. This curve indicates the boundaries or limits of what we can produce, given our resources and productivity. In other words, in this economy, production can never be more than the various amounts indicated in the production possibility curve. 